Okay, kids. I don't know if you can actually see me in my window because it's so scummy and dirty and it's not even as bad as the rear one with all the pollen all over it, but I'm at Pleasure House Point and I'm trying something different. I found the little head strappy thing for my GoPro and I put the Insta360 ONE RS with the one inch module on it and I'm going to record whilst I'm out taking pictures of birdies. The other thing that I'm doing that's a little bit different is that I am recording sound to the Insta RS, but I also have on one of my Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitters, I have it set up to record without having the receiver. I see you. Looks like we've got a, this is a yellow crested night heron. Welcome back. Oh, we got another one up there. The yellow crested night herons are working their way back. I'm kind of surprised there's nobody out today. The cocoons with all the like right up there and right there. You can kind of see if I can get in here. See them all crawling around and they build these cocoons and there'll just be hundreds of them in there. I'll, I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen what those are, but there'll be, there'll be just dozens of those all throughout here in the trees. How's it going? Hello, you look like you were having fun. So way over there, like way over there in those trees, I thought I saw some movement. I took a picture and here, let me zoom in on it again. I don't know if you can see it, but right there is the, looks to me like a turkey vulture. Those things are huge and there's no way that I'm gonna get any better of a picture of them from over here because I can't get over there. And that's way the hell across this river. Oof. When it gets windy like this, it gets very difficult to hold the camera steady because it's such a big lens. The wind moves it and the wind is blowing hard enough that keeping my eye open as I'm trying to focus with the other eye, looking through the viewfinder, the wind is whipping in there, making it tear up. Wah! I wish. Yeah, I saw one the other day. Everybody I sees eagles except for me. I <laughs> yeah. swear to God. Every time I come here, everyone's like, did you see the eagles? And I never see them. Right. Well, hopefully we'll find them today. Hopefully. See, these people mock me. They're always like, oh, did you see the eagles? No, no, because I never see eagles. Huh? It looks like somebody was hunting and dropped their food. If only I were that inexpensively amused. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> right at home in that dirt. This was a pretty decent trip eventually. Uh, the last pictures I got of the yellow crested night heron, I actually came, instead of being across the lake from it, I walked up around almost behind it and I approached incredibly slowly made sure I wasn't stepping on branches and cracking them and spooking it and all that shit. And I just moved very intentionally. And apparently that worked because it didn't get spooked and fly away. It was very aware of me though. And it was watching me like a hawk. Huh? And I ended up sitting there and getting pictures of it. At least I tried to get pictures of it. The problem was is because it was like, sitting on a branch nestled in between all of the the the, the needles and stuff uh, the camera kept auto focusing on the needles and the branches on this side of me so I actually was able to pull the velcro that that's what I thought would spook it off pull the velcro over the flap for all the controls are on the lens and I switched it to manual focus and I was actually able to sit there and manually focus on the bird it was a success today. Most of the shots I got were birds in flight. So we'll see how those turned out, especially because they were pretty far away. And that's pretty much it. So my wife is already asking me when I'm coming home. I almost jokingly said, hey, I'll go out and do a loop and then I'll come home. You can get dressed and we can go shopping, <laughs> grocery shopping. So I don't know if she took me serious and she's actually gonna go, but we'll see. And I don't know if you can see the red mark on my forehead where, where that contraption basically indented itself into my skull. Very painful. 
and I'm going to have a banging headache for it, but that's okay because you got to suffer for your art, right? That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up, not sponsored.